Uh, Josh has this like kind of grin that he gets when he's prepared these samples. I put these samples on to make like funny for the people that are like tired of us playing the same chord. Some. <laughs> Alright, so we're playing in the Lower East Side tonight at Rockwood. We're improvising a full set. The band is called Band Practice. We did a tour a couple months ago where we improvised a new set every night. We haven't played together as a band since then, going four months without playing with each other. Improvising a full set without knowing what's going to happen. What's the worst that could happen? I feel like because we know each other very well, good friends with Shiv, good friends with Josh, good friends with Aton. We'll trust that the music will happen. So, I don't know. Will the music happen? We'll find out. No mistake allowed. We're going to be playing some fully improvised music for you all tonight. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Our thing with this project is that we're trying to like find something new every time. One of us is feeling like, let's make a big change. I can just say it. Having that trust that yeah. somebody is going to shout something at the right time. Yeah. At the truthful time. For that yeah, moment. yeah, yeah. That's like, even if, like, if someone's truth is like, I'm bored, you don't say that, but you can get the vibe that that's what it is. Someone just has to be like conviction. Make a change. Three, two, one. And then we like go to some place we don't know. I feel like yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you all. That was a song called um, E. The <laughs> way to definitely keep it interesting, I think, is if each one of us gets a moment. What we need, guys, is a mood. Can somebody shout out a mood? Sultry. sultry. Josh, you should have a moment for sure. Oh, I'm feeling sultry. All right, Josh is feeling sultry. We juice this up with some reverb, the snare. Or like starting an intro. Maybe everyone should start something. Yeah. yeah. It's easy today not a single one is serious though so if we're really in something that's like cool and jazz I don't know how it's gonna work when I put like a stupidly funny sample on top of it 
It's going to be good. Yeah, it's it's going to be good. good. <laughs> Josh has this like kind of grin that he gets when he's prepared these oh, samples. He's like, like, you guys have like harmonic and like pitch related, which is like emotional related tools in your tool chest. That's true. That is true. So like I'm using these samples to, I guess like lighten the mood, yeah. make you laugh. They're like functional bits. Like what I just told you is like a bit that the audience is gonna love as much as you. That was a tune called Sultry. Thank you so much for the suggestion. But also like I have one, one request rule in some sort of emo rock moment in the B-flat, G minor town. Okay? Okay. Because I have like a bit. At some point, B flat town. B flat town. Do you know B flat? Hard been broke so many yeah. times. So I also don't know what to believe. Bro said it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Hard been broke. Hard been broke. Hard been broke so many times. So I don't know what to believe. Bro said it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Hard been broke. I like just the idea of you were seeing us write a song in front of you. Because improvising can be more than just like writing a song, it can just be truly improvising. I think of this as more as like a songwriting as well. A little bit. That was Rock Song in G minor. Uh, how much time we got left? We got, we've been playing for, all right, maybe we'll do one or two more songs. Uh, Dude, I was talking to Tyreek recently, yeah. and uh, his research is about the going back between two states. Oh, so. uh, we need, like, another mood. Let's get a mood. Frustrated. Frustrated. These two, like, mental states of, like, having control over what you're playing, so really consciously thinking about, like, this chord here, this game here. <laughs> Oscillating between the other state, which is like mind wandering, where like you yeah. put on a backing track and you just lose like. When you're improvising, you're oscillating between those two, and this yeah. gig is perfectly oh. between. <laughs> Railroad tracks. Like, look for that at some point. Some. And then we'll probably jump back into the same thing we're just in. Okay. But imagine it's like a railroad track, like coming back in type of thing. I 
I put these samples on to make like funny for the people that are like tired of us playing the same chords. Such a psychological aspect to all of this, where it's not really about music, it's about how you're gauging another person's reaction. It's, yeah, it's not music, it's like something else. I guess it is music, yeah. but you know. No, but it's, it's yeah, it really is how you like feel it. We know how to do this by this point. My mind is like, let's just see how locked in we can make some completely improvised shit. What's interesting about this conversation now is I'm not sure how much it's going to help. Nothing, yeah, it's like we said nothing. Yeah. It's true. We didn't say anything. We didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you everybody. That was frustrated. We are band practice. Stay tuned for the New York Chill Harmonic. That's what we're all trying to figure out. How do you improve upon something you don't care about? Just not caring, right? Peace.